Hello everybody! Welcome to another video. Today we're going to cook. Un, deux, trois, quoi? Deux, deux, pourquoi t'es mal à l'aise? A bientôt 13 mon jus de petite fraise. This month is the month of Ramadan, which is a holy month where we fast. Every day we fast from when the sun goes up till the sun goes down. And every day we prepare food for breaking the fast. This month is the best because like it reunites family. Uh, we invite each other, we eat at the same time. In Lebanon, I don't do anything. Like I just sleep, uh, try to waste some time, and then wait for the food to be prepared. But here in France, I don't have my family. I have my friends and my girlfriend, and we nonetheless eat together every day. But 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 the difference is that I have to cook. I have to prepare the argile. I have to prepare the coffee, I have to prepare everything. So I know what my mom, I know my mom's worth now and my grandma's worth and my aunt's worth and everyone who like cooked for me when I was in Lebanon just sitting there and doing nothing. Today I'm going to cook for my friends. I invited them today and we're going to break the fast together. I'm doing some Lebanese food and I'm going to show you how to do this. And this video is nothing to do with like the cake video. Everyone is making fun of me because of the cake video. I don't care because I know I, I can do it and I will. Um, but this video is something I can't mess up. This is my culture. So it's for sure that they are going to look good, taste good and everything else and everything you want. So, so Ramadan is a blessed month. Uh, and now we are in the last 10 days, which are, which are the most important and most vital uh, part of Ramadan, where we should like pray more, try to give money more, and try to donate more, and everything else you want. And um, this is the cat. This is not my cat. This is the cat of my girlfriend's uncle, and they're going to Morocco for the Eid because also after Ramadan. Uh, there are three days of Eid called Eid al-Futur where we buy new clothes, give money to the little kids and I used to always get money and then my mom used to take them and my mom used to take them to take them So this is uh, what happens after Ramadan The family of so the un uncle, the uncle of my girlfriend's family so the uncle, so the family of my uncle's so my fam so the family of my girlfriend's uncle <laughs> are going to Morocco for the Eid so they left their cat with us. I couldn't go to Lebanon because So these are the last 10 days of Ramadan. We should give our best. I am doing everything I can better. So I'm really feeling good these 10 days. Yeah, so today we're going to cook for my friends. We're there. No. S -s 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 had to take out the cat. So my friends and I and my girlfriend we eat together every day because it's the the closest thing we have to family here in France. So we do one day uh, at their house and one day at our house. So today it is at my house. But today I wanted to do something special. So I'm going to cook. I'll explain everyone after. Tabule, raat, kafta. And mtabbal eggplant. Okay, in Ramadan, actually, we do appetizers, uh, which is, which are made of soup, actually. And soup, uh, like you can do it, or you can just buy you can buy a soup bag and just a uh, quick soup and do it. Um, there is afterwards the salad, and in Lebanon we do the fatouche or tabbouleh, but it's, it's most likely the fatouche every day, and the fatouche is just a mix of all vegetables together with uh, some black spice and some uh, lemonade and olive oil. So afterwards we have the ra'at and after afterwards we have the main plate, the main dish and at the end we have a dessert uh, which you could buy or make at home. Anyways, these are the main uh, pillars of uh, the, the breakfast table in every Ramadan. Uh, so today I'm going to do these things and 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 sure we can have a little bit of stuff hanging right there and there 
like tabal, like uh, those things, like the meza, because in Lebanon we do the meza. Okay, so for the tabbouleh, the tabbouleh is a salad. Uh, they have something in France also called tabbouleh, but it's nothing to do, it has nothing to do with the Lebanese tabbouleh. The Lebanese tabbouleh is made of parsley and uh, tomatoes and uh, onions and with a spice called the seven spices and it's actually a mix of spices it's uh, it has i think uh, i think it has black spice and it has also some cinnamon uh, and other things and so we use this some people put add another a couple of things but these are the main the, the classical tabbouleh is what i'm going to do and show you and teach you today now for the raat is uh, so ra'at are cheese inside a sheet that couldn't be cooked actually and they are fried and inside this sheet that you roll you can put cheese, you can put um, meat, you can put anything you want actually and then you fry those and those are called, are called ra'at now for the mtabbal batanjan or mtabbal eggplant this is something um, very special to Lebanon and Lebanese people we do this very often and uh, what it's made of is actually a paste of sesame sesame paste which is called tainé and this is not found everywhere like here in France it's really difficult to find those so we should go to special uh, stores and the mtabbal batanjan or mtabbal eggplant is an eggplant which is uh, really burnt and then everything inside we take it out and we put it uh, with a little bit of garlic and some other stuff and the sesame paste and it's really good and at the end we add some olive oil that is just okay and today I will teach you how to do it and you'll love it there is there is also the mtabbal hummus which is mtabbal of peas uh, many people like it also but today I don't have peas so I'm not going to be doing it it also needs the, the sesame paste it's about the same process so today mtabbal eggplant okay there is also the soup and this is just a quick soup I'm going to do and finally for the main dish today I'm going to do a the kafta. Kafta is a meat but done the Lebanese way and uh, how do I mean the Lebanese way? We actually uh, add the seven spices I talked about, the spice which is called seven spices I talked about and we add also onions and parsley and mix them all together to make the kafta and it's so freaking good. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so first I'm going to start with the tabbouleh. For this I'll need a big bowl to put the tabbouleh inside. And I'll need uh, the parsley to start with. I'm going to take this also, a tomato and an onion. Now let me just uh, wash those. Okay, so I will start with the parsley. I will take the parts I think are not good. and we put our parsley in the bowl we start with the tomato normally we put like one tomato let's take out the part we don't need put it aside and start Cutting. and also like they need to be small pieces it's uh, the tabbouleh is all about small pieces you know because like the fatouche which is the other salad made up of all the vegetables I talked about this one like it can have uh, like large chunks of vegetables it's not a problem but for the tabbouleh everything needs to be should be small and diced neatly
one onion. I know people say, oh, you should cut onions differently. I know how to cut them, but I just, I know they do this. Oh, wait. They do this. And then they do this. And then they do this. And here we have our tabbouleh. So now let's add the, the spices and other things we need for this. So for the tabbouleh, first of all, we're gonna need as always and as for everything. Okay, for the tabbouleh, we're gonna need some salt. This is some salt, like one, two pinches of salt, I guess. Afterwards, we're going to need this spice, which is a mix of seven spices. It's called seven spices. And this, we don't find it in France. Um, you also find it in like stores where they sell Lebanese uh, or Syrian or Palestinian goods. So you'll find this there. Um, and yeah. Now we will add some lemon juice, a lot of lemon juice. Ah, before starting to mix, and we'll add something called olive oil. Generous amount also. And now we'll put this in the fridge, waiting to be served. Okay. Okay guys, so the tabbouleh is done, and now I'm going to start with the... Uh, with the... Uh, Ra'at. So let's start doing them. I'm going to start with the um, tabbal eggplant. So let's start cooking. So for the tabbal eggplant, I'll take this. You have to just burn the eggplant and turn it in all the senses. So here, we turn this on, we put the eggplant and wait it for it to burn completely from all sides. So guys, while waiting for the eggplant to burn from all sides, I'm going to start doing the ra'at and I'm going to start like just preparing them for frying. Okay, so for the ra'at, I'm going to use cheese. This is this cheese is called bursa, uh, which has a little bit of uh, garlic and herbs. I'm going to use these to make my raat. Okay, and what you'll need for the raat, uh, for doing the raat is are those sheets I was talking about. Um, I don't know what they are actually called in all the languages, but like there they are. So how to do them, how to prepare them. We'll take one, two, and the way to do those is, you take the cheese, you open it, and you put it inside like this, and what you do is you roll those as follows. like this, and here like this, and just turn them in this way. They are ready to fry. So this is really easy to do. And actually those don't close, but like you can put some uh, flour and water and like just stick those or you can just directly fry them and they'll stick together
And here we have all our uh, oat ready to be fried. Okay, so for the kafta. Now, we'll do the same process, but with the um, onions. So let's cut some onions. And then let's just mix them together. What I did is I added um, parsley and onion to this uh, uh, meat and I mixed them all together. What we'll have to do next is add this which is um, grains of uh, bread. So let me add those. Okay, afterwards we add this. which is also the seven spices I've talked about earlier. So what I did, I processed the meat, processed the onion, processed the parsley, mixed them all together, add uh, bread grains and then add the seven spices. And our kafta is ready and you just, I'm just waiting to be fried. Let's see how it looks really nice nice okay now we've cleaned up let's check out as you can see on one side it starts to burn we're doing the other sides Okay, and for the soup, I have like this, or this, or this, and what I do is just like put cold water and add one of those, and then just mix them and wait till the water starts boiling, and basically my soup is ready. So today, what are we going to choose? Okay, so my girlfriend chose the tomato. This is the final look of the soup. Okay, so for the ra'at, I'll show you how it looks from the inside. So next, what I'll do is I will take pieces, make them into circles. I think this is a bit big. Let's take the half. take this put it here make balls like this always keep an eye on the soup so these are the raat which contain the cheese which I showed you earlier. This is what it looks like. Okay, so now this is done, I guess. Last but not least, the tabbal. Let's turn this off. First of all, what we'll need 
is to open this. Okay, after completing this process, now we have everything from the eggplant inside of here. What we'll need is the tahini which I talked about, which is the sesame paste. And it's the most important ingredient in this tabbal and even in the tabbal hummus. So, and this is actually the most important part of the tabbal. We will add some lemon juice and the ingredient used the most in Lebanon garlic now what we'll do is We'll put this and then mix them together. We'll put a bit of oil. This is ready to go to the fridge. Okay, so everything is ready. I'll meet you on the table. Okay, so this is the soup. This is what everyone's gonna have for dinner. Every person is gonna have like this plate, this soup, and everyone's gonna share from the tabbal. So these are the kafta, this is the Lebanese tabbouleh, ra'at. This is a garlic sauce I did. And this is the tabbal I showed you, the eggplant tabbal I did. And this is the quick soup. And um, yeah. Welcome to Ramadan. Happy Ramadan. Hello. Happy Ramadan. And Eid. Uh, to the actions. Uh, happy Ramadan and happy Eid to everyone. Uh, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And, and take care, and I'll see you next week.